to be humiliated because I'm doing my best is an insult to me and my family. Why would I want to push to get on stage again? Family and I are being dragged through the mud. I have to really stop and question why I'm doing this and why I'm putting them through this. Hey guys, even here and in this video we got something concerning, very concerning for a bodybuilding world, something not very pleasant and we're gonna talk about it in length in this video, so guys stay tuned, subscribe, it's about Samson Dauda basically losing it on his Instagram, he posted a couple of stories and uh, I'm gonna show you the whole thing in a moment, but you just saw what is basically the sum of it, so he is angry at the fans of the sport, and this time around, I don't think it's the Hari Chopin's fans, like it was with Derek Lansford, because at that time, Derek actually beat Hari. They were unhappy about it, they thought it was politics and stuff like that, they were mad at Derek. This time around, I believe it's actually the fans of Samson, who were disappointed with his conditioning. I'm not exactly sure who is he referring to, but there was a lot of talk, everybody pretty much was talking about how Samson did not bring it, how it wasn't even close between him and Hadi, how he will never be able to bring it, everybody was criticizing Samson because there was a lot of expectation from this guy. And he took all this very, very personally, apparently he says it's an insult to him and his family. I'm not sure what exactly that means, he's probably talking about his wife, who is basically a part of his team, she's very much involved, she's helping him, she supports him a lot, she's not like focused on her own career, she's focused on him, I believe, and I think I also got the impression that she's kind of helping with the decisions in terms of getting in condition as well. So Samson did not take this lightly, also at the end he says that he might not even do the Iron Classic UK, not just because of this, I think he got sick or something, he's gonna check himself out and see if he can push through, but I think he's also very disappointed, very angry at the bodybuilding fans, so I don't know if we're gonna see Samson at the Arnold Classic UK. Before I continue talking, I'm gonna show you a short version of what he said in the stories, it's like 15 stories, you don't have to watch the whole thing, here is the summary of it. I, I give my absolute best for this one and I've given my heart out and I gave my absolute best for this one I don't know if I have anything left to give I've given everything else if I push any more I think I'm gonna wind up in the hospital we really dug deep for that and we brought our best to the stage it was one of the most epic moments I've ever had on stage and I felt nothing but pride and joy at the end of the day the better man won after prejudging you know we were told how close it was, so I even dug deeper than I've ever dug before for the, for the finals. Made a sacrifice that, you know what, I could say that right now, I might just regret a little bit. I came back better on a Saturday, and you know what, we, we gave everything for it. To come off stage and then have nothing but disrespect, you know, given to you and your family for what? For sport? For this? To have my family disrespected, to have me disrespected so badly for not winning when I gave everything. We sacrifice a lot of our health and our body and our family's privacy and peace to do this. But to not, to come out and be disrespected so badly by people that have no right to do so and to humiliate us and my family because of the joys of what? you felt is just and you felt is your opinion it's nothing but utter disrespect and you should be ashamed of yourself for doing that less than three years ago half of you didn't even know who i was i worked my way every ounce to get here and to be humiliated because i'm doing my best is an insult to me and my family and it hits hard when you're trying your all and you're being insulted like that all Saturday I was happy, all Sunday I was happy, I was like, man, what a battle, what a, what a weekend. And then I'm coming home to all this negativity and all this, because what reason? You, you're destroying our reputation and ourselves just to make yourself feel better. For what? This isn't, this isn't bodybuilding anymore, this isn't cool. And if you all don't, can't, if you literally people can't see that, then 
why would I want to push to get on stage again? I mean, do you ever stop to ask yourself that? If we, I am third in the world and I'm second at an Arnold Classic. I'm an Arnold Classic champion. Now I'm getting disrespected for what? Bringing my best to the stage and not winning? And I'm being disrespected for it? Is that cool? Is that on? Is that right? Family and I are being dragged through the mud. I have to really stop and question why I'm doing this and why I'm putting them through this. All right. Okay. You just heard it. Samson is pissed. I never saw him like this. I never even thought that he had this in himself. But you guys know, if you watch my videos, I was cheering for this guy. I thought he could win from the start. So I'm part of the media, I'm part of the guys who are criticizing everybody, and I always, I often have no filter, but I don't think he was referring to me, because I was defending this guy against everybody, everybody was disrespecting him, you know, his physique, and uh, now, I mean, I, I feel like he took it too personally. Yeah, everybody was criticizing him, everybody has really big expectations, but like Chris Bumstead says, pressure is a privilege, high expectations are a privilege. And I'm not talking about Heidi Japan's fans. If Samson won this show, damn, I don't know how he would handle that. That would be horrible. Those guys would tear him apart. I mean, in my video, in my prejudging video, I said it was close between these two guys. And I said Heidi Japan is gonna probably win. And those guys, Hadi's fans, were like, are you crazy? Are you blind? It's not even close. Hadi's gonna win this easily, blah, blah, blah. Samson is off, Samson is this and that. You know, those guys are pretty hardcore, but this, what Samson is talking about, is not Hadi's fans. It's actually people who love Samson, who want to see Samson succeed. And when they saw that Samson did not come in inside out peeled, they criticized him heavily. I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again, this was Samson's best ever. I agree with that. He was better in the arms department, in the shoulders department, and in the back. Like, his back was by far the best ever. Maybe his abdominal control wasn't perfect, it was better in some earlier shows, but that can be fixed easily. Physique-wise, I think this was his best look. But yeah, Hadi was undeniable, he was too shredded, and he also has a lot of size and fullness. It was difficult to beat this guy, I mean, this guy won the Mr. Olympia. Samson, like he says, three years ago, most people didn't even know about him. He wasn't on the radar, and now, all of a sudden, he's top three in the world. So what else do you want from the guy? Well, I mean, I'm sorry, but what we really want, what we truly want, is for him to come in inside out peeled, and with this shape, and with this muscle, with this roundness, and symmetry, and proportions, we wanna see him win the Mr. Olympia and reign for as long as Ronnie Coleman, because it is possible. It's all about conditioning. That's why everybody is pissed at him. And that's why he took this so personally. Now, as far as him trying, he says that he dug deep, very, very deep, that he couldn't dig any deeper. And he did something, something in the fi before the finals that he regrets. That's how extreme he was about this. But that's it. That's just it. He couldn't bring it any better than he did. So, basically, he didn't take the criticism nicely. Well, it wasn't really criticism that he's talking about. It's more like hate or whatever you want to call it. He didn't take it well and he might not even do the Arnold UK. Check this out. I have to take myself to the hospital to get checked out because I don't know, my body is just, I'm trying to push through, I'm trying to train, I'm trying to get through it, but my body is just failing at this point. And honestly, I just don't know what else I could do. So given what is happens to me in the next few days, after we get checked out in the hospital and um, what happens and the results of that, it will determine if I will be doing the Arnold Classic UK next week. and. I have to wait and see how that result comes back. So yeah, like I said, not very pleasant news. We might not get to see uh, Samson Dowd at the Arnold Classic UK and maybe never again. Is that a possibility? It sounded like that, but I don't think he means it. I think after he recovers from all this, he's gonna be fine. 
he is probably just pissed off right now at the fans of bodybuilding and he's also physically ill so he's not very good he's probably not in a very good spot right now and i think that's gonna change i don't think this is the end of samson's career i think he's just too emotional he's just saying what he feels in the moment but i think this moment will pass also, I wonder if his health issue has something to do with the thing he did, you know, before the finals. The thing that he regrets now. I wonder what could it be. I have some ideas, but I'm gonna save them for myself out of respect for Samson and Milos. So I'm not gonna say anything. I don't know what happened. Samson is not feeling very good right now. He's not 100%. If you look at his stories, the way he's training... You can see that he's not there. He's not mentally or physically in the training session. So, yeah, most likely Samson is out of the Arnold Classic UK. Even if he's in, I don't think he can improve and beat Hardy. So, yeah, overall, disappointing news. Disappointing news. And, yeah, you guys tell me what do you think about how Samson took this. And tell me what do you think about, quote, hate, criticism, whatever, that Samson received from the bodybuilding world down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.